Hey, hello everyone. I'm on my way to Sluis. Sluis is a town, small town, close to my house. Uh, over there they have the Vibra and I've got a couple of messages that they have new Hot Wheels. Not a complete case and to be precisely, I hope to find the black Porsche mainline. Um, they also have a nice toy store, so I'm going to check that one as well. See you at the parking in Sluis. Whoa, that's a beautiful Bentley here on the parking. Uh, so yes, we arrived at the parking and over there is the Vibra. So we're going to see if we can find the Porsche and maybe some other Hot Wheels. We have some more interesting cars over here. Nah, Bentley was the coolest. See you inside. So here we are at the very small toy section of the Vibra, but I always say it's better than nothing. And yes, they have a pretty recent case of Hot Wheels mainlines here. This is already a good one, the Ford Escort RS 1600. And I also like this one, the Audi RS e-tron in a red color. I think it's even better looking than the one in black. Okay, let's see if we can find more good ones. Uh, Dodge Viper, also a cool one, the Carbonator. Another red Audi, yes, I also like this one, beautiful paint. Uh, what do we have here? I think the yeah, Camaro in a green color. I also like the rims. This is a very nice Ford Shelby. Fantastic. Um, this sand burner is pretty good looking. But not for my collection. And here we have the Pinifarina. In a nice blue color. I also like the rims. Tornado rims. The Toyota fan, pretty cool casting. Uh, I hope that they're going to make a premium of this model. And maybe they already did, who knows. Um, let's see, we got the McLaren Alpha for if you like eating flies. Aston Martin Vantage in a nice green toxic color. I have no idea what the treasure hunt of this case is and also no idea what the super treasure hunt is. Yeah, I know, story of my life. Here we got the Batmobile in a green color, another Audi e-tron, another carbonator, very handy. I have a couple of those at uh, on the kitchen table. Yeah. The taxi, and here any, ah, Supra, that's a cool one, another Batmobile, okay, let's see if we can find something here, oh, that is also a good one, in a red color, yeah, I also like this one more than the green version. Red with black rims, very good combination. Okay, let's see if we can... Yeah, nice one. Definitely going to take this one home with me. Um, yeah. Okay, no, that's not my thing. Anything else? Yeah, we got some uh, Matchbox, but uh, this is pretty old news. Already got those and I did a video about it. Uh, let's go to the next door. This Iveco 4x4 is also very cool. You don't see this one a lot. Most of the time it's here on the parking. Very cool car. Okay, because I'm here anyway in Sluis, I can check the Kruidvat as well. See you inside. Okay, so here we are at the toy section of the Kruidvat and they have this multi-pack from Hot Wheels for $9.99 with this exclusive. I'm going to leave this one behind. They also have some monster trucks but not the one that I'm looking for because I'm looking for this version here on the left. Okay, let's go to the next door. Okay, so we're walking through Sluis on our way to the toy store. And the toy store is over there at the church. See you there. So here we are in front of the toy store at Van de Vijver in Sluis. Pretty big toy store. Let's do some window shopping. Yeah, 
let's go over here and I already see a very cool big T-Rex on top. Yeah, I like what they did. It looks very good. And they already preparing for Christmas. Look at that giant Playmobil Santa Claus. Wow. That's awesome. Okay, entrance is here on the right. And we already see some diecast cars and also some Lego. The Lamborghini and the Ferrari. Okay, so here we are. And let's start here on the left. Uh, I already see some Buragos, the Alpine in a 143 scale, more 143 Buragos. They also have some bigger scales. And, ah, yes, ooh, I like this one a lot. This is a very good looking McLaren F1 in a white color. And there is also a blue version, a red version and a black version. And the coolest thing about this McLaren, it's not only good looking, but check at the price. Price quality is very good. They also have a Jeep Wrangler from King Smart. If you don't have the money for those expensive diecast models, this is a perfect alternative. See, there is the red color. Here we got a Supra racing livery. Also for a price of 7 euro or 7 dollar. Nice Porsche over here. Very nice classic. Some more Burago. And we also have some V-dubs. Yeah, shout out to the hippies. Peace and love, my friends. So important. Okay, what do we have here? Some Monster Jam. Yes, I have good news. Dude is going to the Monster Jam tour in the Gelre Dome in the Netherlands. And yes, I'm going to do a video over there. And what do we have here? Fresh cases. I believe it's the M case. I arrived in the store and then the employee said, very nice lady, by the way. Hey, are you looking for Hot Wheels? I say yes. Well, four new cases just arrived in store. So I was very lucky. I didn't knew about it. It was pure luck. So yes, this time luck was on my side. And uh, yeah, we're going to find out what is in those boxes. Here we have some matchbox hanging on the packs. And some meteorite from a long time ago. And here we have some more Meteorette, the Citroën 2CV, Monster Jam, <laughs> the ugly poodle, so ugly that it's cool. Monster Jam 21 series, unfortunately still looking for the heavy metal chase from the 22 series, that's the son of a digger, this one, but uh, yeah, then uh, heavy metal chase. Okay, any more Monster Jam? Nope. Uh, what do we got here? This is also a cool looking model from Hot Wheels. Hmm. And here we even have a long cart. Okay, let's take these boxes with me. And we're going to do a full inspection. At this time, I didn't know what the treasure hunt or super treasure hunt was. Ah, check this out. This is also a cool casting. Definitely going to take that one home with me. The Toyota Supra. And here we got the Honda S2000. But uh, yeah, later I looked it up. So I now know that... Well, I not know for sure. But the Super Treasure Hunt is the Mustang. This is also a cool one with the naked engine. The Mustang and the regular treasure hunt is a very ugly fantasy car. Yeah. Custom yeah, from the art series. And what do we got?
got here some more fantasies and a very nice drift car. Corvette Guesser, the Mad Mouse, I like that name. So yeah, here we have the regular treasure hunt. I will come back to that one later. Because at this time I didn't know it was the treasure hunt. And to be honest, I was expecting a good treasure hunt. Okay, uh, a low rider, also very nice. And here we got the very cool Sion. Nope. Too much fantasy for me. Yes, I know it's a Batman casting. Okay, uh, we have to take everything out because we have to check the bottom. El Camino. Nice Lotus. Okay, whoop. And this is the Civic Custom. Okay, let's see if we can find anything interesting. And please, guys, help searching. Because when I'm hunting for diecast, I have so much dopamine going through my veins that sometimes I miss certain castings. But not this turtle. Uh, yeah, the Lambo, also a cool one. At first I thought maybe that's a treasure hunt. Yeah, Lancia, very nice painting. Uh, nope. Don't see anything interesting here. Yeah, this is the Ford Mustang. I believe that one should be the Super. But uh, yeah, this is no Super, unfortunately. Barbie. No, I can't see anything interesting for the collection. McLaren again. Ah, not bad for a fantasy. Okay, let's go to the other box. Let's see if we can find something interesting. Yeah, I need another one. Unfortunately, no full deco. Only the front is uh, painted. And the rear is not. That's a little bit disappointing for such a cool casting. Okay, let's take everything out. And check if we don't miss anything. Whoop. No, nothing. Lotus. And the Mazda RX-7. I like the red color with the golden rims. That is looking very good. Whoop. Yeah, there goes the regular treasure hunt. Drift car and an ambulance for the ones who are interested. Okay, let's have a look at the bottom. Uh, Lambo again, another Lambo. And let's see. And again, please help searching. Let me know if I miss anything. Hey, this is also a nice one. Volvo. In a black color. Yeah, nothing special. So here I found out that this was the regular treasure hunt. Ugly as hell. Wow. 
Okay, two more fresh cases. Same case, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, now I know what the regular treasure hunt is and what the super treasure hunt is. So uh, we're going to see if we can uh, find those. There they are. Two more fresh cases. So four in total. Man, I was very lucky. Yep, there's the regular treasure hunt. And there is another Supra. I took three and I left one behind for another collector. I know there is another collector in my area. So always leave something behind for other collectors, especially in countries like the Netherlands or Belgium or yeah, where these Hot Wheels main lines are. Not super rare, but it's hard to find new ones. You have to go to countries like Germany or you need to have some luck. And I can tell you luck is not always on my side. Okay, let's take everything out. Whoop. Where is the Mustang? Mustang. Regular version. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, no. Okay, let's go to the other box. Oh, and by the way, of course, I left all those regular treasure hunts behind. That's not for my collection. Okay, let's take everything out from the top. I mean, we've already seen uh, the other ones. And we go straight to the bottom of the box to see if there is any super. Oh no! So not one super treasure hunt. Four fresh cases of Hot Wheels. I was the first and not one. Very disappointing. I'm I was expecting at least one super treasure hunt, but uh Yeah. That's crazy. I was uh, very disappointed. But they have more in this store. So here's the CQ section. Last time I was here it was pretty empty. And it still is. And that's pretty good news. Because that means a lot of new CQ is coming. But I heard from the store that it's very difficult to get new CQ. CQ has some trouble in the factory. Like many other factories. Here we got the new Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. 2022 casting for Siku. Uh, very nice fire truck. And this is also a cool one. 150 skill truck. With a building and it comes with stickers. So you can decide what to put on it. Okay, here some farm models from CQ, but I'm not going to spend too much time on this section because uh, in a couple of months I'm coming back to this store hoping this uh, section is filled with new CQ and uh, then I'm going to check if they have any new ones. So yes, I'm going to take these three with me. I'm going to leave one behind for the other collector. And now the bonus video is starting because these are plastic model kits. And yeah, to be honest, that's pretty weird on a diecast channel. But I've noticed that uh, a lot of people that are also doing plastic model kits are watching my videos. And if you are one of those people, I do this for you. Because, uh, yeah, I have a diecast channel, so... I'm not that interested in plastic model kits, but I do like... Yeah, this is a cool one, by the way. 
I've been to that mine in Germany and I've seen these machines with my own eyes. They are huge, they're gigantic. Okay, but what, what, what I was saying, I do this for you guys. I'm into diecast, I'm not into plastic model kits, don't have the patience for that. But uh, yeah, why not showing the plastic model kit section if I'm there anyway? So here you can see they have a lot of cars. And you see that they also have uh, boxes with the paint included. Most of what you see here is from Ravel. Here a lot of airplanes. So here you see the paint is included and also the glue. That is very handy. Scale 144. Giant plane here. Oh, Star Wars. Yeah, that's also cool. But a couple of Star Wars models. You can see it in the community section. And yes, they are ready out of the box. Okay, guys, so this video is almost coming to an end. Ah, there's coming a review about this model in a 172 skill. Diecast, of course. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Bye.